Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I gotta move that poster, so I don't have to bend over. <laughs> Getting really, really close to 4,000, 3,000, and 1,000, so subscribe on one of your platforms if you're not already there. Anyway, tonight's beer is another beer like on Tavor. This one is called Mr. Cozy. <laughs> Missing some fingers there. From the Ale Apothecary out of Bend, Oregon. It doesn't really say anything about it on the bottle. It just says small beer aged in oak barrels and bottle fermented with honey. And it's 4.6 ABV. It was bottled July of 2022, so it's like a year and a half old. Pretty old. Um... I pour it into the Spiegel uh, tulip glass or stem glass, whatever you want to call it, and it's it's interesting. They mentioned that honey in the fermented. It uh, has kind of a honey kind of color. Well, I'd say it's probably more of like a slight orange chestnut, and for a wild ale, it's actually pretty clear. Get a small, you know, kind of off-white foam on that. Most of it has dissipated. It's not. Well, I can definitely smell the Britannomyces in there, if you don't know what that is. You know, study up. <laughs> yeah, lovely funky kind of smell. I would call it like kind of like a citrusy kind of aroma. Um, also, I think like berries. Yeah, it's like kind of like a or no, maybe not like strawberry, blueberry, like produce section berries, but like like backyard berries, boysen berries, and stuff like that. You know, stuff that would be that you're not supposed to eat. You know. <laughs> Yeah, definitely that lovely wooden smell. I don't really get, like, honey. I mean, if a honey was just used as a sugar, I'm sure the yeast ate almost all of it, but... It smells like a great be uh, Brett beer. <laughs> let's, give, let's give it a try here. Cheers. Mmm, wow. Wow. That is, this is what I love in a good wild. Um, I don't even know where to start. I wish we had taste division because I think like this is the kind of beer you need to taste. This is a lovely, delicious combination of like bread and, uh, you know, lacto. So it's tart. It's funky. It's like citrusy um, and it's definitely acidic. It's actually quite malty. Although it would make sense because they said this is basically a party guile. Now, if you don't know what a party guile is, so a party guile is like where you, you know, basically, like basically where you make one beer. Because you know how you make beer, you get the grains, basically you get the grains really warm and it releases the sugars and then you, you know, filter that out and then you, you know, then you boil that and that's your beer. And well, yeah, you used to that. But then if you take those same grains and run more water through it, you're still going to get like a little bit of, you know, some fermentable sugars on there. And that's called a party guile where you, so it's basically you make, like they said, it's a barley wines, and then whatever was left over made this lighter 4.6 ABV beer. I don't know if a lot of breweries do that. I think they should, especially smaller breweries because it's, you know, it's a very efficient way. You're not wasting grains that way. Mm, yeah, that's delicious. It's, um, I'd probably say it's like, it's like pear, um, it's like, like green kind of fruits. But it's also, I'm getting like orange pith, lemon pith. I'm not call it, it's not like the juicy part of the fruit. It's like the rind or just like, you know, like that, that part in between the wedges of the orange, you know, it's like kind of crusty or whatever. Um, so it has like the essence of orange or lemon or grapefruit, but not the actual fruity flesh itself. For a wild ale, it actually has a bit of body to it. I'd probably put it about medium. And the carbonation is, it's probably about moderate, maybe moderately low. I would say it's very smooth. You don't hear me burping. Actually, and you saw when I popped the cork, like it just kind of like, it was a, it, you know, it didn't fly up and hit the ceiling as has happened in previous reviews. Yeah. Oh, you know, just really, really drink well, really refreshing, clean lactic acidity. I'm kind of kicking myself because I wanted to use this for, Last night for a Tuesday night beer school to do one of the American Wild Ale uh, categories, but I wasn't sure like how this would, like what category it was. I didn't want to like open it and like have it be like, oh, this isn't really appropriate. And now it is. I'll, if I can get another bottle, I will. Actually, I have some other contenders in here. You can't really see. I just haven't had a, a wild beer that was like this good in a long time. Because usually, you know, when you see wild beers like this at the beer stores around me like they're usually ancient and like they're very 
like you know have like kind of like a spoiled quality to them this one even though this was bottled a year and a half ago it's to me it tastes like very fresh still very it's i'd say it's quite sour maybe not very sour like on a scale of one to ten sourness is about seven maybe is you know it's pretty firm sourness but i have had much more sour stuff by the way i got this beer on tavor it's only 10 bucks i think that's a good deal so if you want to start with tavor Use my code in the description below. It gets you $10 off. Basically, you get that beer for free. <laughs> or one like it. And it lets them know that I sent you. All right, so the score for the Mr. Cozy. Wow, this was, this. I would have to say, and I'm going to go, this is going to be pretty bold, but I'm going to say this is this is definitely the best beer I've had this year. It's the best beer I've had in a long time. I'm going the full 10 out of 10 for Mr. Cozy. You know, I would definitely buy this again if I could find it or if it shows up on Tavor. Um, but yeah, um, love a good wild ale and sorry that I didn't use this for the American wild ale Tuesday night beer school, but you know, there's still hope. All right. I am rambling. If you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Chad's beer podcast or Tuesday night beer school or something. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 